Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All info, no fluff. We interrupt our regular programming to answer a really good question asked by Liam on one of my videos. Liam says, this is the best series I've seen on Reaper's MIDI editor. Really a huge help. One trick I've been trying to figure out is if there's a ripple delete between two MIDI notes. Do you have any suggestions for that? It would essentially make Reaper complete for me. Well, awesome. I would love to make Reaper complete for you. Yeah, it took me a little bit of figuring out, but I think I got something. Let's check it out. I got this MIDI passage here. So I select this note and I hit F1 and now those notes come to its place. I can also select multiple notes, hit the same hotkey and now they're gone. So I'll show you my custom action in a second and you can also download it from my website. The link of that will be in the description. But this is also a good opportunity to talk about how to create your own custom action. And the way I do it is that I break it into a few steps. And the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out what I would do if I had to do the same thing manually that I want a custom action for. So in this case, for example, I want to select these notes, I want to delete them. Then I want to select all these notes and I want to move them back to where the deleted notes were. So when I want to create a custom action, I essentially try to recreate all of those steps. So let's just create a new action and call it ripple delete MIDI events. So the first thing is, well, I'm gonna be selecting the notes myself before I hit the hotkey. So I assume that when I run the command, there's already notes selected. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to delete the notes, delete events. There you go. Next, I want to select all of the future notes and put them back where they were. Well, in order for Reaper to know where to put the items, I also need to give it an indication of where I want the notes go. So the best thing for that is to place the edit cursor there. So edit cursor, there you go. Navigate, move edit cursor to start of selected events. And maybe we can put this at the top here. So I'm gonna hit okay and I'm gonna test my custom action up to this point. And then I'm gonna just give it an arbitrary hotkey. I can change this later. This is just for testing purposes. So I'm gonna call it F2. So if I select events and I hit F2, so far I've managed to move the edit cursor here and delete the events. Now I need to select all these notes and move them back there. So again, I'm gonna go to edit action and I'm gonna look at something like that. Select events and I'm gonna go through and see if anything jumps out at me and yeah right here at the top x ray select all MIDI notes and events right of mouse so now our edit cursor is where we want it to be our events are deleted those notes are selected now all I gotta do is move selected events to the cursor so if I simply cut them and then paste them that should do the trick so again we added a few events let's hit ok and test our custom action one more time I'm gonna select the notes hit F2 so now our custom action essentially works, but there are two things that I can foresee in the future annoying the hell out of me. The first thing is the edit cursor is now somewhere super random at the end of the selected events because we copied, we pasted, and after paste, the edit cursor jumps to the end of notes. Another thing I may want to do is I want to keep my edit cursor where it was and I don't want these notes selected. So from here, we were just kind of ornamenting our custom action so that it works the way we want it. And again, a good way to think about this is that what you want to happen after. Definitely Definitely when you ripple delete something, you don't want the notes afterwards to be selected. So a good place to start is go deselect or sorry, uh, Reaper calls it unselect. There you go. Edit, unselect all. So now all are unselected and I want my edit cursor to remain where it was. So a very quick workaround is to use these commands, save edit cursor position and you have 16 slots to choose from. So I'm going to choose one. If you have a custom action that works with one of these slots, you may want to go to a later slot. So let's just run right off the bat when we move the edit cursor to start a selected event also to save its position all I gotta do at the end is to restore edit cursor position and use the same slot number so I do that and now I'm gonna select these notes hit F2 and the command works. So essentially that's how we make our own custom actions. And obviously I'd love to make custom actions forever, more video ideas for me, but also if you need to make a custom action in a pinch, this is a good way of thinking about it. So first kind of conceptualize what you want to do by doing it manually, add those commands, test your custom action as you go. And if you see that it creates some kind of annoying behavior that you want to get rid of, try to find commands that would remedy those annoying things. This custom action has some limitations. The first limitation is that it needs to be a hotkey. The reason for that is this command, select all MIDI notes and events right of mouse. So what that means is that if I'm running this from the toolbar, it doesn't function so well. So you gotta make sure that as you select the notes, you stay within the boundaries of the selected notes. So that's the first limitation. And the second limitation is that this only works with selected notes. So if I have these chords down here and I ripple delete these notes, first of all, it wouldn't do anything to the notes below. 
they will just stay the same length as they are but also in the later notes there's also the chords so those chords would be moved which is not really ideal and can actually mess things up and i'm trying to figure out how to make that work better and i think one way of doing it is for example when i select a note to make the custom action set a time selection my cat really needs me then select all notes within that time selection but it's a little more complicated so if that is what you want liam definitely put it in the comments and i'll make another custom action for that but if you're just simply trying to move a melody the way that i showed you then this could work fine so let me know if that answered your question if anybody else has more questions more custom actions you want me to try and make you know post them in the comments here or on any video and if you like the work i do please consider donating to me through buymeacoffee.com the link will be in the description thanks to dan for donating to me with this lovely message really appreciate you and that's it for today take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon bye